Alright, so I just want to give you a couple of the more advanced things that you can do in today's meet to kind of push the envelope. Uh, one thing I want to do is I want to show you how to connect this to Twitter. Um, you've got a little Twitter icon down here. If you have a Twitter account, all you got to do is click on this button and log into it. And then what it'll do is it'll set you up to send out a message here. Uh, join me on todaysmeet.com. You can uh, uh, customize that however you want. I'm going to put a question in here. I'm going to say, tell me where you're from. And I'm going to click tweet. That will send this message out and give them a link. So we'll come over here to today's meet. We'll come back to our room and see if anyone comes in and says hello. All right, um, I'm going to go ahead and join back in. I have to wait for some responses to come in. Let's see if we get any in here. Um, one thing that you can do with this is if you're doing a, a, a topic with students um, on anything and you've got a Twitter account and you've developed your learning network, you can send out a message. Uh, you can send out a question for the group, and you'll be surprised how many people will come in and uh, contribute to your class. And there's a lot of great people out there on Twitter that you can connect with, and they can really come in and add a lot to your discussion. Just to give you a little update, when I threw this out to Twitter, I got a couple responses here. Uh, one from North Carolina, sitting in the dentist's office, and one coming at us from Wisconsin. So it is a really neat way to throw it out there on Twitter and get some feedback and invite some people into your classroom that uh, your students would normally not have a chance to interact with. When you are first setting up your um, room, I want to also point this out to you. This is a Twitter hashtag. The way that works is whenever you've got your room created, if you put in a hashtag, for example, the EdChat hashtag is one that follows educational chats. And what will happen is, whenever someone posts to that hashtag in Twitter, it will automatically feed it into your room that you set up. Uh, so it's an easy way to follow discussions and have your students not only follow the discussion, but they can also participate on their own in the chat room, and they don't even need to have a Twitter account. Um, they, can, they won't be able to uh, go back and forth with the other people on Twitter, but they will be able to discuss the ideas that are flowing into the room um, whenever they use the hashtag. While I'm here, I wanted to show you one last thing, um, how to get the updates on this room. And so if I click on uh, todaysmeet.com, and I'm at the home page here, if you go to the blog, uh, you're going to get some updates on what all he has done to improve the site. And so anything that gets added in here, he will give directions on how to uh, get that to work and exactly what he's done to the site. And so that's today's meet. Um, it's a really neat little tool, and I hope you get some use out of it. And uh, good luck.